Hey guys, Sherry here from the Netflix Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a weekly Twin Flame reading for um, March the 10th until the 17th. Uh, but first, I just wanted to thank you guys all for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting on my channel. It is uh, so appreciated. Um, I have done so much soul growth over the past couple of months because of this channel. So I want to thank you guys so much for the support. Um, also for um, supporting my cards as well. I mean, wow. I mean, when I just when I thought about making the cards, it was just out of the blue. I just decided to sit down and start working on them. And next thing I know, we got tarot cards. <laughs> so I'm not expecting to have a YouTube channel and my own set of freaking tarot cards so that's awesome um so i'm kind of rolling towards um no fucks given tarot so let me know what you think about that it is a concept it is a state of mind where you no longer are engaged in negative behavior um, negative thoughts um, negative people so you've reached a state of peace and stillness within your mind so yeah that's what not giving a fuck means so let me know what you think and uh, if you think it'll it'll roll you know but um, yeah I just wanted to again thank you guys for all the love that you've shown me and I hope that I can return it to you namaste much love what's up guys Sherry here from no fucks getting crew how's it going welcome to my new space so I thought I'd get this series on. Um, thank you once again for all of your support, your likes, your shares, your comments. I read them all and oh my god you guys are freaking hilarious and funny and you just make my heart glow. Thank you, thank you, thank you for showing up in my life and being a part of this, this journey with me. I am blessed. I am so happy. Namaste, beautiful souls. Okay, we're all in this together, right? So this is going to be a Divine Masculine Twin Flame reading for March the 10th until the 17th of 2017. So I am going to be um, using my cards, uh, the No Fucks Given Tarot cards. Um, so you can actually check out the Twin Flame. No, actually, I'm going to probably be putting the the same intro clip into this video as well so uh, yeah this you guys will have to give me some feedback as to whether or not you think that is a, you know the name for a tarot deck to roll with yeah my um, I'm open to receiving any kind of feedback for that so yeah I'd like to get you these into production so the energy really seems to be jumping today a lot of things falling uh, the cards are just all over the place. So yes, okay, let's get this energy grounded, please, Spirit. What messages do you have for the Divine Masculine for March the 10th until March the 17th? So I'm going to be doing my crystal ball reading. Uh, so it is a 5x5 five five grid. Um, the first row would represent the distant past. Then we'll have the recent past, the present, and then um, the near future and future, or distant future. So um, there's going to be four cornerstone cards. So those will be the grounding energy, the main energy. So it's the energy that's brought into the reading. It is taken out into the future, brought back in and then it flows through the reading and then is grounded once again in the future. Um, the center card will represent zero point, which will be the main energy that is being focused on during this week. So yeah, I hope that makes sense to you. So I'd enjoy some feedback as well as to whether or not you like this spread or how I can improve it. Um, I will also be pulling four cards from John Holland's Psychic Tarot. So that will be the foundation, the crowning energy, uh, 
the masculine energy in terms of the union and the feminine energy in terms of the union. So the crystal ball will focus only on the masculine and his journey in the 3D and 5D. I will also be pulling two cards from Call It Baron Reed's Enchanted Map as well as I may use the Osho deck for clarification. We'll see how it goes. All right, so first card represents a distant past. Seven of Pentacles. So this talks about good things come to those who wait. So it seems to me that um, he's done a lot of work in the 3D world. He's laid a foundation. Um, he has um, seen a return. Because um, this card usually represents waiting for the harvest, waiting for your, your ships to come in. Uh, but because this is showing up in the distant past, he's already experienced this abundance come towards him. Uh, this card also talks about um, a re-evaluation phase where you look at your past, the mistakes that you've made, and you use them as learning experiences in order to avoid any chaos or challenges in the future. So, yeah, it's a re-evaluation. And that way, you know, you're setting yourself up for the future. So it seems to me like the wait is over as far as he is concerned. Okay, so next card will represent, or I guess we're still carrying on. So that would be one of those corner cards that I was talking about. Next card, the Knight of Swords. So this is a champion. He is a rebel without a cause. Um, these cards both showed up in the Twin Flame reading. So there's a sense that he needs to speak his truth. There has been movement in the past uh, in terms of standing up for what he believes in and speaking his truth. He holds the, the truth of justice and, or, you know, the sword of justice, sorry. And he's the type of person that will come in and sit down with you and just lay it out on the line. Open communication. Like I said, it's a forward movement, comes in very quickly, and um, yeah, so the two cards together, the wait is over, and he wants to move forward. He had an idea, um, a vision, and it spoke to his truth, his inner knowing. And so he wants to be that champion and go forward with the idea. Then we have the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups talks about withdrawing from emotional drama. It is walking away uh, in search of your truth. Once again, it's, you know, it's a similar theme that seems to be occurring here. So yeah, it is a pilgrimage. It is finally being at that point where enough is enough and you're not going to be a punching bag anymore and you're walking away. So I like in the John Holland deck, um, they depict this man sitting on the edge of an ocean and he's, you know, at peace in stillness. Uh, and just sitting there listening to the waves. So yeah, it is a retreat. It is a pilgrimage and he has moved away from negative energy in search, in search of his inner truth. Wow, the Divine Feminine Twin Flame is what he is moving towards. So I made this card with one purpose, only one meaning, which is the divine, uh, divine feminine twin flame. So yeah, the card right beside it is him leaving a situation, a mentally abusive situation, 
or sorry, not mentally, emotionally abusive and moving towards the light, towards his truth. Nope. You're gonna have to move these. Oh, where did this guy come from? Sorry about that. Put that away, and I'll have to move these over. Okay, last card in the distant past. Wow, awesome. Uh, success and victory, six of wands. So this talks about being recognized for all of the hard work that you've done. You've accomplished much. People are proud of you. Um, they are cheering for you. They see you as an example. So what I got depicted here is, a, you know, a crowd in a concert-like setting, and they're all cheering for you and the accomplishments that you've achieved. So this is victory and success. So you feel successful in your connection with the Divine Feminine and with your pilgrimage, you know, uh, moving towards your truth, your inner knowing. Okay, so the next row is going to represent um, the recent past. So the energy that is being brought in from the distant past would be the moon card. So the Divine Masculine got this on his side of the reading for the Twin Flame. So he is facing his shadow aspect. He is going within and using his intuition, um, his inner knowing, you know, really getting connected on a deep level moving through the subconscious and, you know, discovering the truth beyond the veil. So it's an illumination. It is, you know, in a sense, the dark night of the soul. It is facing your fears, all those things that you've uh, avoided in the past have now come to the surface and they need to be addressed. So, like I said, this is coming in in the um, recent past position. Next. Nice. The Lover's card. So I made this card with the intention that it represents the Twin Flame Union, the coming together, the wanting to coming together, the yearning for union. It is seeing yourself in another. Um, it is recognizing, you know, the spiritual journey that this union represents. It's uh, an evolution of consciousness, and you are here to help one another, you know, um, face all your shadow aspects, release the past, and really get connected with your heart chakra. And that way, you can really truly love you know, with the deepest part of your soul. So that is right below the Knight of Swords. And like I said, the Knight of Swords is all about knowing your truth, speaking your truth. Wow, that's awesome. The Nine of Pentacles, it is Harvest. It is reaching that point where uh, you've worked enough, you've saved enough, and now you can enjoy life. You know, go on a vacation. Um, you don't have to worry about money. You feel safe and secure. And it is a time of completion. So it's harvest, it's that return that he was waiting for in the distant past, he now um, manifested in the recent past. So yeah, there's a sense of real stability and grounding here. And that resulted from him moving away from negative energy, you know, and focusing on himself, nurturing himself, loving himself. Next we have the Two of Swords. 
So this is indecision. It is having two choices and not being able to decide which direction to turn. Um, so this creates a stall, a pause, um, a feeling of una you know, being unable to move forward. Um, the decision is just too big to make. Uh, so people often stay where they are, you know, so they don't have to deal with a change. So, yeah, this creates a mental prison for yourself. It is schizophrenia. It is the split mind, cognit co cognitive dissonance. So, in the recent past, he was, he came to a crossroads where he needed to make a decision. And that decision involves the divine feminine twin flame. It is right beneath that. So, You know, there's a sense that he needs an illumination. He needs the truth to be told. He needs, uh, there's a sense that he only knows half truths with the moon card. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. This card isn't really making much sense to me because there is so much progress. He made the decision to walk away and it resulted in this abundance and this connection with the twin flame, the feminine. So I guess we'll see what the rest of the cards say. I hope you're able to kind of see the cards. I know I'm uh, quite far back. Maybe I can move it forward just a bit here. How's that? All right, so next row. Oh, we need one more final card for the dist recent past. That is awesome. The um, King of Wands. He is the center of the sun. So last week, I, the, twin, the masculine twin flames energy was that of him stepping into his power, stepping in to the king of wands, you know, the king of the sun, and uh, really taking co control of this life, you know, making his dreams a reality. So, yeah, he feels successful. So now I'm seeing that he made this difficult decision, but it led towards, it's going to lead towards the Divine Feminine, ultimately. You can see how he's looking back at her. Because from that decision, he emerges as the King of Wands. There's a progression here in time as well, from past to future. And it goes this way, from past to future. So. There's a, a mixture of energy and how it flows and comes back in. So yeah, this is, you know, that sense of the distant or the recent past where he was um, in the dark about a lot of things, which is why there was that pause. But then he discovered his truth about this union, the twin flame connection which ult ultimately led to him leaving an emotionally abusive situation and moved towards the twin, which, which brought in this harvest, this completion in the 3D world. It was a grounding energy. Um, so that decision for him to move away from the negative energy um, gave him some clarity and ultimately he stepped into his power and made that whatever this was that was holding him back, he decided to, you know, move forward with it. And as a result, he is successful. Um, he's set ablaze. The Six of Wands is fire, and, and this is the King of Fire.
Okay, next is going to be his present position, so the energy he's bringing in from the past. Wow, how beautiful. The Queen of Cups. Now, if you remember, um, last week the Divine Feminine was taking on this energy, the Queen of Cups. She was an open vessel. She was, um, you know, centered, balanced, and just open to receive love and give love without expectation. So she was a very grounded energy. So she's bringing that in from the recent past, and it's now in the present position. Next is the Hermit. So the Twin Flame, or no, actually, yeah, it was a Twin Flame reading. Um, the heart-centered energy, I did a, a small version of this crystal ball. It was a 3x3 three three grid, and at the center was the Hermit. So, present position, there's a sense of him being in a hermit state. Um, and he's doing that in order to gain wisdom and knowledge. He's connected to his higher consciousness. Uh, he's detached from the conditions of society, unchained himself, and he finds pleasure in his aloneness. And then ultimately, it is to open his mind, his consciousness, and heal himself, rejuvenate himself, really connect with his soul, um, discover the light within so that he can lead others out of the darkness. So, yeah, um, the Hermit card comes below the Twin Flame connection, but also with the Knight of Swords. So again, it's that truth, in search of truth. So there's a progression here. Um, in the distant past, he moved away from negativity, but he was still uh, affected by it on an emotional level. So it's a withdrawal. It's walking away from negative emotions. Um, but it is also the pilgrimage. So it is like the start. It is the beginning. You know, making that choice to leave and walk away. And now in his present position, although he's still in that tr retreat phase, uh, he is coming in as the hermit, which is a more enlightened being than the Eight of Cups. It is really getting in touch with your spirituality. And this shift happened because of the twin flame connection his truth and the love of the divine feminine in his knowing that she is the sun and she helps him become the sun also find your your light within next is the six of swords so this is moving on. It is finally deciding to let go of everything that is negative. Here we have a woman who is looking in one direction and a man leaving the situation walking in the other direction. There's no looking back. There is an accept acceptance of fina finality about it. It's moving from choppy waters to calmer waters. It is the same moving energy that is you know directly under the eight of cups so there's that sense of moving on and this is the main energy of the entire spread because this is the center card so yeah it is moving away from negative thoughts negative people negative situations putting an end to it no more and it's because he is, he sees something higher that he wants to attain, that divine connection. Wow, the Ace of Swords, that thrust forward, that beginning, that um, inspiration, that creative idea, the grand vision of your wildest dreams 
so it's like an explosive energy, a shot out of a gate, um, and it's fiery. So it is the initial spark, and it is a new beginning, a movement forward with that idea. It's something that sparks passion and desire within you. Um, yeah, moving forward with a grander vision. But it also represents a brand new beginning, a clean slate, um, leaving behind everything that you knew. All of those negative thoughts, conditioning, um, and seek of the truth. And moving towards what is right for you, not for everybody else. So that this card, the Ace of Wands, is showing up right below the Two of Swords. So Two of Swords was that indecision. And now we got a go light, go time, present position, beneath the Divine Feminine, Twin Flame. Last card. Wow, Justice, number 11. Balance. The scales of... The, what is it again? Cosmic scales. She is the fulcrum. The balance. Um, she is, you know, it talks about karma, cause and effect. What you put out, you get back. And often when she shows up, that means that a ruling or decision will be made in your favor. Um, she also stands for truth and well, she is justice, but she stands for truth. She is naked, exposed. Next, uh, we have the um, near future. Wow, temperance card. To me, this represents that ultimate union. It is, she stands at the center of all things. She is source. She is zero point energy. She is that from which everything is birthed. Um, but she is union of the twins. Um, she represents the S sign between the yin and the yang. Um, she is the zippering of the double helix DNA. So that is directly beneath the um, Queen of Cups. So now I'm seeing this moon a little differently. The moon is all about going within and using your intuition, your psychic knowledge to see beneath and beyond, look um, beyond the veil to the subconscious in order to see the truth, to see what is real. And the Queen of Cups is really psychically intuitive. She is able to do that, go within and um, use her intuition. And here we got this um, temperance, which is balance of your spirituality, your emotions and the 3D world. So there's this um, knowing here, this ancient wisdom almost that is revealed, an illumination, and a very centered, calm, peaceful, um, loving state. As she pauses, she's... In the distant past, she was in that pregnant pause state, you know, that gestation, gestation period, waiting for a return. So it seems to me like she's still holding that balance, or that could mean, you know, that initial coming together in the 5D.
See that? Okay. Uh, next, Page of Pentacles. So that's that's awesome, because uh, above that we have the Hermit. So the Hermit is a detachment from the material world. It is, you know, reminiscent of the movie Into the Wild, where he burns his money, cuts up his credit cards, and just lives in the wild off the land, gains spiritual wisdom. But of course, in the movie, he doesn't come back. But basically the hermit does come back in order to share that wisdom you know it's a, a period of enlightenment soul growth and here we have the page of Pentacles an earth earthly feeling um, it is coming back to the 3d world and now putting work into an idea it is grounding that idea that he had in the past regarding this connection. So now he is ready to move forward with actually um, you know, really grounding that energy. So this could also represent in search of more knowledge and wisdom. And pages are um, messengers, so it could be news, or it could be communication in the 3D. But it seems to me like he comes out of this hermit state and into this, I gotta get to work in order to make this thing a reality. So remember, this is in the near future. Next. Strength card. Yes, you are. So this is right above or right below the six of swords it is moving away from the situation and you know we got this cups card which is emotions then pinnacle which is earth then we have the sword swords which is communication and thought so there's a sense that he's moving away from this mental noise and attachments and trying to ground himself in the 3d uh, and seeing a return and knowing his truth and still continuing to move away from that negative energy. But um, ultimately, he is really coming into his power. He's drawing upon his experiences as being, you know, the king of wand and um, also using kindness, love, and compassion when dealing with the situations that he needs to deal with. You know, you don't want anybody to be hurt by your decisions, but you need to live your truth at the same time. So here we got him, you know, working towards this thing that he wants to manifest in the future, you know, create that stability and moving away from a situation and really going deep within in order to tap into that strength and using love in order to, to make the decisions that he needs to make. Next, wow, are you kidding me? The Sun card, and that is right below the Ace of Wands. So, like I said, this is, this card here, the King of Wands represents the center of the Sun. It is the, you know, the Divine Masculine um, who is accomplished. He has achieved his goals. He has made, he's been successful in, in achieving his visions. And here we have the sun. So he is in his strength. It's right beside the strength card as well. And the temperance card is also a fire energy. So almost this entire row is on fire. So here he is represented as the sun, pure energy. And this is the best major arcana to get, so it is abundance coming towards you. It's um, success, victory, peace, harmony, excitement, um, getting in touch with your child aspect, feeling um, young and youthful, playful, exuberant, and you know, just being in such a positive state of mind. And that comes as a result of having your connection with the Divine Feminine, making a choice to release yourself from the negativity, 
have that brand new start and as a result you got this abundance this perfect card it is your dreams manifested as a result of that decision to go forward final card five of swords so the energy that he's leaving the near future with is the five of swords this is conflict and defeat uh, but this is again choosing not to engage yourself in negative people negative comments but there's a sense that he is going to come up against some form of negative energy but you know what you cannot dim the light of the sun this tiny little pointy finger here me 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 you and it's coming up against this are you kidding me <laughs> so yeah it's inconsequential it is unimportant uh, justice will be served the justice card is just right above that as well as this you know the divine masculine um, king of wands and the success card so whatevs right point yourself out of the reading in that direction okay so this will be the final row the and it represents another corner card so this is the nine of wands um, being in the eye of the storm uh, this also represents um, you know having battle scars wounds your bones and muscles are aching and you just want to rest but you still have the strength to fight that one last battle and that comes with the temperance card above it so remember what I said about the temperance card it's finding balance in the storm not being affected by the energy that surrounds you she is ultimate balance she is zero point energy and the nine of wands is about being in the eye of the storm um, but also being calm within the storm you know but exerting your will if necessary um, nine is nearing the completion of feeling this way so let's see what the rest of the cards show because this would be the energy that is a result of this energy right it's coming in from the past which would be the near future <laughs> I hope you guys are following along with this okay next four of cups so this is a sense of longing wanting feeling things aren't moving fast enough it's stagnation it is being offered a cup of love and not taking it because you're so uh, consumed in your own emotions um, it is also a sense of withdrawal in order to retreat um, from the outside world but I really see it as longing you know I have this guy depicted as looking out the window so yeah there's a sense of weight and that is below the page of Pentacles so there's a sense that whatever this is that he wants to manifest um, still requires a lot of work and it may create this energy in him or in the divine feminine I'm almost seeing this row here as being the feminine energy uh, and this being the masculine the masculine well, well all the rest of, of the cards basically the masculine but this definitely I'm feeling a feminine energy a grounding effect uh, but being the eye in the storm okay next wow are you kidding me that is freaking awesome congratulations that is awesome so in the twin flame reading I um, mentioned that 
the roles seem to have reversed from last week. It really seems like the masculine is taking on this uh, King of Cups energy, uh, moving from that King of Wands into his heart space, uh, opening up his heart chakra and getting in touch with his emotions. And, you know, the card that he entered this row with was walking away from emotional abuse, abuse and walking away from mental abuse. And from that, gaining power and strength in order to heal his heart and um, become love and feel love on a deep level, pure love, innocent love, unrestricted. So yeah, we got the king and the queen together in this loving, emotional, well-balanced, um, heart-opened space. This also talks about, you know, getting in touch with your intuition, your psychic knowing. Um, yeah, you know, it's related to the the moon card there being you know, intuitive. Okay, next. A page of swords. Communicating your truth. Pages are messengers, so communication. Uh, swords are, represent communication. It is clarity of thought. It is um, speaking your truth. So this is right below the sun card. So there's a sense that, you know, he wants to convey his truth to the divine feminine, you know, I don't know. But it's right beside the king of, of uh, cups. So it's like, you know, he really gets in touch with his emotions. I think it's more of a grounding energy you know, the sword of truth. He's holding the sword of truth while being emotionally grounded as well. Okay. Last card. Wow. Queen of Swords. So, uh, this is cutting away the darkness, uh, cutting through the bullshit. And she holds the sword of truth. She stands for truth. She um, can see through lies and deception. Or it could represent an air sign. Cups are water. And wands are fire. So, yeah, this is a... She, the reading ends with a bang. This ultimate truth. You know, one up would be the king, but we got the queen here. But, you know, she represents speaking your truth. So, yeah. Um, it is definitely a journey for him. I can see that he is really getting in touch with his power. He's stepping into his truth. He is still dealing with you know, releasing some emotional, uh, not emotional, but thoughts, um, negative thoughts, stepping into his truth and planning for the future. And that will bring him power once again. It's almost like this fire cooling, fire cooling kind of energy. And ultimately it leads to this heart opening, the king of cups, you know, there's a sense that he was longing and wanting um, and he heals his heart and there's clarity good all right so now I am going to pull four cards from John Holland psychic tarot okay so for the feminine the High Priest, the Hierophant, 
That's interesting. She got this as an energy that she was bringing into the union for the twin flame reading. Um, so this is being the leader, really stepping into your life purpose, understanding your calling, um, being spiritually awakened and sharing your knowledge with others, being the light, guiding others from the darkness. So the high priest is one that is, you know, ground is connected from the physical world to the spiritual. So he is able to download information from the Akashic records and share that wisdom with others. So he has sacred knowledge and shares that. He is also, you know, connected to uh, consciousness, the collective, through the uh, um, crown chakra, the third eye chakra, and yeah. He is spiritually awakened. So because this is the um, Divine Feminine reading, I'm almost seeing it as the Divine Masculine with her in the 5D offering her support. Um, that's kind of what I read from it in the Twin Flame reading. You know, they are able to really, you know, connect with each other on the 5D and support each other. Okay, so next is for the Divine Masculine. Wow, Heart Chakra. That is awesome. Oh my God, I could not ask for a better card than this. This is exactly what the Twin Flame reading is about. This is exactly what the Divine Masculine reading is about. It is about getting in touch with your Heart Chakra and opening it. And allowing love in giving and receiving an open vessel he is a he is going to be really getting in touch with uh, unconditional love true love that is so beautiful I want to cry I really do it is so beautiful and for the foundation energy Nice. Spiritual union, two of cups. What did I say? Oh my God. Freaking, oh my God. Okay, so the two of cups represents spiritual union. It is seeing yourself in another and being awakened, conscious, connected to source through your third eye chakra, your crown chakra, and your heart chakra. So, there's that beautiful circulation of energy of give and take um, a flow and it can like the heart chakra is the mechanics behind this entire thing the twin flame union your connection with spirit cannot move forward without the heart chakra activated and here we have him coming in fully activated Foundation of the reading, beautiful union, and here we have that, you know, that connection with his higher consciousness because he's showing up on the, the feminine side as supporting her in the 5D. Wow. So I encourage you to check out my twin flame reading because it is definitely mirroring the messages that I received. Okay, what is the crowning energy? No freaking way. Oh my god, that is so awesome. Yeah. Love begins. The Ace of Cups. So the love is pouring down. Oops, the other way. Look at that love. Open the sh the heart chakra open. Um, this card only shows up when you're at a point where you have healed yourself, you've let the past go and um, you're really truly ready to open your heart and receive love wow i want to cry i'm serious this is so amazing this is just so beautiful look at you divine masculine look at all that green emotions and here you are as that spiritual you know awakened, loving soul with 
you know, love pouring down on you. I love you guys. That's awesome. All right. Um, so now I'm going to pull message from the universe. Using Call It Bear and Read. Oh my god, this reading cannot be any more perfect. You know, um, the divine masculine showed up in the twin flame reading, I think, if I recall. So here we have the divine feminine twin flame showing her support, her love, giving him strength and balance, you know, so you can move through this process. Even though they're not together in the 3D world, they're at least supporting each other on the 5D. No doubt about it. Okay, so message for the Divine Feminine, please. Heal the ouch. Awesome. It's that same healing energy that the King of Hearts represents. Um, healing the heart. So you are providing exactly what I just finished saying. You are helping him heal the, his heart so that he can open his heart chakra fully. So I will be reading that to you. Next is for the Divine Masculine. Strength. Wow. So this is a strength card. Same idea. He is standing in his strength, his power. He can't be knocked off his path of evolution. And um, he feels like he can accomplish anything. Beautiful. So I will read those to you. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. I love it. Beautiful. All right. So I'm going to have one final look at the reading, see if I've missed anything. And then I will read the cards to you. All right. I shall be back in a moment. Peace. So here is your reading Divine Masculine. All right, so um, as I was saying, overall, um, there's a sense that he is moving away from negative people, negative emotions, negative thoughts, and has moved into his power, has become the center of the sun, and is currently in a hermit state, but... Uh, the Divine Feminine's love is grounding him and, you know, helping him in his spiritual journey. We've got that um, Twin Flame connection associated with the Hermit card and love. Uh, so she's supporting him as he, you know, um, heals his heart and moves away from this negative energy. But we have the Ace of Swords, which is that thrust forward, that brand new beginning. It is, you know, that breath of life. And ultimately, it is a, you know, a decision based on his truth. And it, the karma uh, will come back to him in a good way. And of course, it does here with the Sun card. Uh, so, yeah. Um, as, you know, in the near future, there's a sense that, you know, the, the Divine Feminine is once again providing that balance, illumination, strength, support uh, for him to, you know, come out of this hermit state stronger, more balanced, and in this fireball of, you know, energy. But it still comes with, you know, the sense of the finger being pointed. Um, as a distant future outcome, there's this, you know, once again, balance being the eye in the storm, but needing to really look after yourself and 
you know, it, there's almost a sense that he's going to need to withdraw once again um, in order to really finally, you know, heal your heart and open yourself up as the King of Cups and speak your truth. Cut away the bullshit, the lies, the darkness. And as I said, the grounding energy, the foundation is the Two of Cups. While the crowning energy is the Ace of Cups, Love Begins. Um, you brought in the Heart Chakra and the Strength card. And the Divine Feminine brought in the High Priest and this healing energy. Okay, so yes, the Divine Masculine is really coming into love. Allowing love to enter his heart. So the Divine Feminine is bringing in the Hierophant, which is Wisdom. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. The card illustrates that there is a spiritual teacher who is about to influence you or step into your life to impact his or her wisdom. Look around. Is there someone in your life who has the acumen, education, knowledge, and ability to integrate spirituality and its laws into the constraints of the physical. Um, this could be a compassionate person who offers guidance and inspiration and reminds you that you're so much more than a physical being. You're also a spiritual being with unlimited potential. You may have also drawn this card to confirm that it's time for you to reach out and find an organization or group of like-minded individuals um, being part of a group where you can be yourself, share your thoughts, get valuable feedback, can infuse you and encourage you to be all that you can be. Kindred support helps you live in the highest ideals, finding your true inspiration and enlightenment that's part of your soul. Over time, the student often becomes a teacher, so don't be surprised when others seek you out and find you. This card of Wisdom is letting you know that you have so much to share, whether you realize it or not. Okay, the Divine Masculine is bringing in the Heart Chakra. This is Air, I Love. Um, it represents unconditional love, compassion, harmony, relationships, and healing. It's believed to be the link between your mind, body, and soul. The uh, energy that is crowning you, the Divine Masculine, is the Ace of Cups, Love Begins. Your cup is about to overflow with joy, happiness, and positive feelings. This is the first of the emotion cards and therefore signifies that a new love opportunity beckons. This doesn't necessarily have to be physical love, but it could also represent the passion and devotion for an idea, a goal, or even a new creative endeavor. This would be a perfect time to open yourself and your heart to the higher vibrations of loving energy of the universe. When past issues are resolved, when forgiveness for others as well as yourself has been attained, and when your heart is truly open to receive, then new roads leading towards love will be revealed. Beautiful. And the foundation card was the Two of Cups Spiritual Union. This card deals with relationships involving an emotional bond. It could be between new lovers, kindred souls, family members, friends, business associates, or partners. It could even relate to a project or a specific situation. This would be a perfect time to realize that all relationships are really about you. Notice when you interact with different people. Are, you, are they giving you energy or taking away? Is there an even exchange? There should be an equal balance between giving and receiving energy. Relationships are mere images of your own life. You reflect how you feel and treat yourself and how you react and respond to various situations and individuals around you. Each and every union is an opportunity for soul growth. Okay, so uh, the feminine brought in Heal the Ouch. So this is the message from the universe for the Divine Feminine. 
Heal the out. Forgiveness is the healer of the soul. This is a time for great soothing of the heart, body, and soul and mind. As this card indicates, that healing will be prevalent in your life now. If you're feeling drawn to the study of healing arts, you'll be successful in developing your natural capacity to restore others to wellness. The Heal the Ouch card may also be an indicator of old wounds and broken bonds being mended. Reconciliations are possible now. Let bygones be bygones. And this is the Divine Masculine's message from the universe. Strength. Your true strength comes not from self-reliance alone, but from a sincere faith in a higher power. The strength to accomplish even the most daunting task is yours at this time. You can connect with and channel the power of the universe. The strength card indicates that your ideas are being tested and refined and your relationships are being deepened. No matter what happens, nothing can move you off course of your evolution. As the potency of your connection becomes more obvious, you're able to harness the creative energies that are available to you. Have courage and dive in, for magic is in the process of finding form to take. When you remember that real strength comes from a combination of your efforts and reliance on higher power working through you, all is possible. You can do anything right now. All right, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Much love. Peace.